Uh, Coach, this past weekend you guys made your first GLVC road trip. Uh, it was a pretty successful weekend for you guys. Yeah, it was. It was nice to go on the road and play conference games. And um, actually, we were in two very good atmospheres. Uh, at, at St. Joe's, they had a tremendous crowd. It was set up by the three overtime game that we watched uh, our women play right before us. And so the crowd was all worked up, and they had a tremendous atmosphere for us. And our kids responded. They really enjoyed that atmosphere. It was great to get in. It was great to get on the road and see how our guys uh, matched up in some conference um, games. And they responded uh, at St. Joe's and did a nice job of getting the lead and holding on there at the end. And then they traveled to Indianapolis, who had just beaten the number one team in the nation um, a couple uh, on Thursday night, and to really do a nice job of bouncing back after, you know, we leave St. Joe's and we wind up getting back here at 3.30 in the morning. So we have a short day on Friday. We will turn right back around and respond without, without any letdown. You guys tonight played Ohio Midwestern, 96-52 win. Uh, what did you like out there? Well, what I liked is getting back home and, and having an opportunity to see if we can grow in some different areas and then getting a lot of different people playing time. So uh, the, there are things that happened where I thought, again, we shared the ball pretty well. It's nice to see um, Ashante Jones. We threw him out there in the starting lineup. He's back to almost 100%, and then we were able to get him in that lineup, and he, he uh, showed us what he can do on an offensive end very, very quickly. Paul Bird came off the bench tonight. Only 23 minutes, scored 11 points. He was really efficient coming off the bench. Yeah, he is. Paul's a tremendous basketball player. He's one of those whose kids, you look at him, you probably wouldn't pick him up in a, in a pickup game because he weighs about 105 pounds, and he doesn't look like much, but he's a tremendous point guard. He has a great feel for the game, and uh, he's going to have to provide some um, meaningful minutes all year long for us so we were able to rest uh, Ethan Faulkner and uh, Chad Jackson. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. Bear tonight, a 96-52, big win for you guys. Early on, you guys were kind of struggling offensively, but you really put the team on your back. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say that. I'd just say um, we played, we just started, we picked up our intensity, and uh, after that time, my coach called, uh, we picked it up, and everything went well after that, so I wouldn't say carrying them on my back at all. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You're known as a three-point shooter. Uh, you shot seven of eight from behind the arc tonight. Have you ever had a good a game like that? Uh, yeah, maybe uh, once against... Uh, BYU against Jim for that day about yeah when I was at Nebraska so it was it was about the same night just like this. <laughs> um, you guys uh, defeated Indianapolis on Saturday. That previous Thursday they defeated Bellarmine, the number one team in the country. That's got to do a lot of things for your guys' confidence in this team. Oh uh, yeah, well we we came in. Coach gave us so much confidence because we come in we work so hard. So it playing hard and doing that, that, that that's kind of like when it, when it comes to the games it's kind of easy because we so used to working hard in practice so uh, I think I think that win against Indianapolis really it really gave us a boost though because we see where we was at now there thanks for your time okay.